Here are some points to remember when you're assembling a tower. 1. Inspect your components before you start. Make sure you have all the parts you need, that they are in good condition, and that you're not mixing and matching incompatible components. 2. Always follow the instruction manual for the make and model of tower that you are using. It's the only way to ensure you get a tower that is structurally sound and safe to use. 3. Make sure the ground is solid and flat. If it's not, you can use sole boards or, if you're working on a track, a scaffold trolley to create a stable surface. 4. If you're outdoors, don't start assembling the tower if the weather or environmental conditions are unsuitable or forecast to be unsuitable, making it unsafe. The wind speed must be below 17 miles per hour. 5. Check the tower is level as soon as you have the bottom end frames and braces assembled and before you build any higher. 6. Towers need to be stabilised to prevent them toppling over. Depending on what the manual says, your options could include the use of stabilisers, outriggers, kent ledge or by tying it into an adjacent structure. If your tower is close against a wall, you won't have room to install four stabilisers in the usual positions. Instead, two of the stabilisers could run parallel to the wall. However, the wall must be at least two-thirds of the height of the tower to prevent the tower overturning. If the wall isn't high enough, the tower manufacturer can advise on alternative ways to stabilise the tower, such as Kent Ledge, which is weight added to the base of the tower. If you're using a scaffold trolley to support and move the tower on the rails, there are a few points to remember. To be structurally sound and stable, a tower must be upright. That's why you always level it at the beginning of the build. If you are using a trolley, the same applies. If the track is canted or on an incline, the tower must still be vertical within one degree. That may mean checking the tower is vertical each time the trolley is moved. Remember, there are only two ways to assemble a tower safely. The 3T through the trap method or by using an AGR or advanced guardrail tower. Using either means you never need to stand on an unprotected platform. That is, one without double guardrails all the way round all four sides of each platform. When you dismantle the tower, follow the 3T or AGR process in reverse. It's easy to assemble a tower when you know how, but it still takes time. When work at height is planned, your manager will factor in time for assembling and dismantling the tower safely. The tower is part of the work, not just a means to an end, so don't rush it. The most important thing is getting it right. If you need to alter the tower, take the same amount of care as you did when assembling it. Don't make any alterations that aren't approved by the manufacturer, such as removing braces that are acting as guardrails. These videos are not a substitute for PASMA training. If you're working on towers, you must be competent to use them for work at height. If you're assembling, inspecting, moving, altering or dismantling towers, or supervising work on towers, you should be PASMA trained. For more tower safety information and resources, visit pasma.co.uk.